just to continue this a little bit, when, when things do happen and you are stressed, you know, we talk about some stress hacks, things you could, things you can get Great benefits segue. from right away. Um, Great segue. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'll just start some of the things that, that, you know, we've talked about these uh, in past podcasts, but you know, anything from just getting up and walking outside and getting sunlight, uh, breathing, but there, uh, you know, uh, there, there is a stress hack and I'm going to show it to you at the end of, uh, in, in a second. But um, so, you know, obviously there's, there's meditation and exercise. Um, the sunlight we talked about with uh, vitamin D. Uh, one thing that doesn't get spoken about enough, uh, you know, in this context anyway, is your diet. You know, you don't want to, you want to, if, if you're going into business, you know, if you're going to work, treat it as if you're going to play a squash game or a basketball game, like eat right. Don't eat food that is going to make you lethargic and not want, you know, not want to do anything and handle any situation. Um, so that, 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 you know, diet exercise, I mean, the same stuff you hear about everything, but it's true for business too. You need a clear head. The stress hack I will show you right now will guarantee that, um, you calm down immediately, even though at first it may seem you're not calm. Um, I do this uh, in the mornings. I do this before presentations. Um, I do this sometimes before social events. You know, when you feel a little anxiety or butterflies when you're about to go into a party. Um, and this is what it is. It's just, it's, it's, you know, when somebody has, let's say, let's say when somebody has a panic attack, you know, what, what, what's the cliche? What do they do? They give them a bag to, to breathe into, right? And that's after the fact. But if you don't want the panic attack, which I'm sure you don't, <laughs> and most people don't, you do that beforehand, right? So before I'll give a demo, literally like a few minutes before, I will sit there with the camera off, not in the meeting and go and, and just breathe as fast and as rapid as I can for about 30 seconds. Like, <laughs> I get a little lightheaded. I know I look funny doing it, but you do it. And afterwards, it's actually a euphoric feeling. And what happens is your body, it, 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 you're inducing the fight or flight, uh, you know, so adrenaline and all these chemicals and hormones think something bad is happening. So they're getting you ready to fight, right? So if you induce that before a presentation, before a demo, before a date, before an interview, before a game, you will go into that game already ready for that stress and for 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 that crazy stuff you're going to be calm uh anyway yeah no that's that's great and it does and it also gives you a a, a little boost of of energy too that's um right, yeah. but but you um you nailed it and like i said it was a good segue because we're talking about what do you do when when the bombs come in and you got to identify you know is it a bomb and prioritize and all that and and when logic goes out the window and emotions set in, because we're, we're, if we're in the, in the weeds, you know, uh, or we can't see the trees or the forest or however you want to yeah. you know, talk about it, you, your, your body can get overwhelmed, you know, um, even looking at an overblown inbox or just mm -hmm. everything piling up on you. Um, when you feel that way, as you said, walk away. Walk away and and breathe. And nine out of ten times you'll come back and you'll have a different perspective. And you'll realize that the issue or the problem is not as big as you really thought it was. Absolutely. Because you were inside it at the that at that time. Yeah, people have time allowing themselves and me included to walk away. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, you, you, we it, our society, our culture is all about work, work, work hard. It's yeah. even like a status symbol, which I think is so stupid. I hope it yeah. changes, but it's a status symbol to tell people how busy you are. What kind of ridiculous <laughs> thing is that? Yeah, and you know? multitasking, forget it. That